Rose Before Show. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Bros Before Shows. We are going to have a little chat with Miss Emily here. Uh, she is in... <laughs> yeah, everybody everybody uh, clap. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 The applause. Uh, you... I don't even know how to ask this. <laughs> so you're a mermaid. Yeah, yeah. you're a mermaid. Yeah, mermaid. You identify as a mermaid. That's right. That is cool. <laughs> Explain... We know that there is an Olympics coming up. Yes. And that you are representing... Like America. Mississippi or America. 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 Okay, awesome. I'm bigger than the Mississippi. <laughs> so, um, the Merlympics started in Germany in 2015, and it's been mainly like a European type of thing. Mm -hmm. And this is the first year America was invited to compete. And we have five on our team, including our captain. Um, one in Florida, one here in Mississippi, two in Louisiana, and one in Texas. Okay. So we're just kind of spread out. So, what will y'all be doing? Uh, there's five different events. One speed, which is obvious. Um, there's a rescue event, which is difficult. He gets to play my dummy. It's really funny. Um, there's underwater posing. There's figures, which would be like flips, different like tricks and stuff underwater. And then there's ecology, where we have to go to the bottom of like a 14 foot. I think it was 14 foot. Um, and get as much trash off trash. the bottom as possible. As possible in a minute and 30 seconds so that also is kind of speed to me okay but it's also depth so let's talk about this tail yes. what is this made out of um this is the actual fabric part is scuba knit fabric okay and the monofin on the inside is silicone oh, that's how you get the monofin in and out oh, oh. This is just like a big flipper yeah 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 and this is where you but i mean, I mean they're, made, they're made like diving flippers yeah and, but this one's <laughs> solid silicone, so it's very floppy. And, and it keeps your feet, I guess, yes. in unison. That's, um, that's how you get your propulsion. Yeah. But this, the flipper by itself weighs 18 pounds. So it's very heavy. Yeah. I can, I can throw that one over. I tried to lift it a second ago. Yeah. Like, okay. It's just, not oh. light. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> Drop it. Drop it. <laughs> They're not light. They are not light at all. Oh, wow, yeah. Crazy. Nice. Yeah. She's heavy, and that's one of the smaller monofins that I have. So how did you get into this? Well, like every other little girl, I was playing mermaids in the pool every time I was in the water, and I just never stopped playing mermaids. And so as I got, you know, older access to the internet, I was like, I wonder if, like, people actually make mermaid tails, or if mm -hmm. I have to make my own. And I found a bunch of different companies and it took me years to decide which company I wanted to go with and now I have tales from Shallow Mermaid, This is Mer Taylor, Finfolk, and Merofin. So I have four different like brands I guess of okay. tails. But my first one I got was a full silicone tail, which is not recommended for your first tail because it's really heavy and they're really expensive. But I got that with my college refund and I just What's the price range on these? <laughs> look, look, we collect we collect toys and, and okay. stuff. So, so any price that you say, we'll be like, okay. Is there you a know. comma? In silicone tails, yes. Okay. There's a oh, comma. Yeah, we okay. get it. Yeah, we um, get it. For yeah. my Merofin silicone tail, I paid twelve hundred, and then another another two fifty to get it repainted. But that was because I didn't like paint up the first time. Mm -hmm. Well, I liked it, and then I grew out of it. Figured out my whole color scheme. And this one, the Monofin itself, is. She's set up at uh, South Mississippi Toy Fest a few times, and we were talking about, I think you had just got back, or was about to go to like Panama City or something like that, and 
or Pensacola. You were, you were. Yeah, I, uh, I go there. Oh yeah, on the beach, and people were taking pictures with you, and all, all that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, That's um, all. I, I love when people come up, ask, take pictures, ask questions, especially little kids, because they have the weirdest questions. Oh yeah. But well, like, no, I gotta ask, what's the weirdest question you've ever been asked? <laughs> mm -hmm. I can't even remember. Like I can't remember on the spot, but there have mm -hmm. been some weird ones. Um, but there, there have been a couple times where I'm just like chilling on the beach in my tail and people just run up, they're like, and they leave. I'm like, you couldn't, I would have just, smiling. you could take a picture. I didn't know they were, what they were doing. They were just running. Put a little stake in the ground says, I will answer questions. Yeah. I'm interactive. <laughs> yeah. So it's just, it's like, it's definitely weird. And when you're mermaiding out in public, people are like, oh, I can ask you whatever I want to ask you and just force you to take pictures with me. Like, it's yeah. a lot, a big thing. I don't know. I know this is also done in like different Comic Cons and stuff. It's like cosplay does not equal consent. Mm -hmm. Yes. To do. Because mm -hmm. yeah. some mermaids like to just, like, some mermaids don't like people to come up to them mm -hmm. in public. They're like, I'm just doing this for me. I'm doing it for fun. Don't talk to me. Like, I don't want to be in pictures. But I, I love interacting with people and taking pictures. Like, I don't mind. So if you see her out, you know, if you're at the beach and you see her, Talk to her <laughs> and yeah, ask her and say, hey, can I get a picture? Will you ask her questions? Yeah. I love um, answering questions. Um, so you said, what, you got four of these? Four. I have... Four different tails? Um, I have... No, I have five different tails. Five tails? I just have two from Mert Taylor. Okay. Mert um, Taylor's my favorite. And you were talking about your color scheme. So is this your color scheme that you... Kind of. My, um, my Mersona is like more, more like a siren, like darker colors. Okay. And I mean, most mermaids are like super bright rainbow colors, like pink, like purple, Ariel. Yeah, yeah, like super bright. But um, I like the darker color scheme. This tail is actually based on Beetlejuice, like one of the sandworms. Yeah. It's got the little oh, fin on the back, and it's see, my favorite. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's got the little sandworm fin on the back. Oh of yeah, it. it's so cute. What? And so okay. I like more of the darker stuff. Okay. I only have one tail that's not super dark and it looks like the Navi from Avatar. Um, it's very okay. bluish and greenish. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I guess cool. the markings and everything that was really fun. Do you use your own name or do you have like a mer name? That um, you my use? mermaid name is Storm and then like Storm Siren is my like Instagram, Facebook and stuff like that. There you go. That's Most cool. mermaids have like a mermaid name. Yeah. Hmm. Some cool. don't. Some just like oh it's like oh I'm mermaid Emily oh I'm like that but I'm it's more fun. Jessica. Yeah. It's, mm. Yeah. But it's more fun if you like make it a whole persona. Yeah. Right. You would be Mermaid Mark. That's right. Mer Mark. Mer Mark. I got that Mer body. So we. The daughters of King Triton. Yeah. When is the When is the Mer Olympics? We leave out May 18th and we get back on the 27th. The actual competition is the 24th through the 26th. But the team's getting there kind of early because to get over jet lag. Yes. To kind of acclimate because the. It's a whole different altitude, mm -hmm. climate, everything else. I get really bad sinus infections, so I'm trying to avoid that. Yeah. And so we're just getting there a little bit early to kind of like acclimate and chill out. Very cool. Do you know the other mermaid? Yes. Okay. Um, mermaid Iris is, she's from Florida. My best friend, um, I met her at the Spring Splash last year, which is like a, a bunch of mermaids go to one of the, Florida Springs, mm -hmm. and we just camp out all weekend, and it is so much fun. But um, yeah, that's my best friend. And um, the other ones I have not met in person yet, but we've like spoken on Facebook, Instagram, text, mm -hmm. all sorts of stuff like that. And we do, um, we'll do like FaceTime calls just to talk to each other, keep updated. Cool. So I feel like I've met them in yeah. person, but I haven't. Very cool. Well, good luck. I mean, thanks. Yeah, absolutely. So, you have to work out for something like this? Oh, yes. Uh, like I said, that thing's heavy. Yeah. And it's all on your feet. But it, it's not super heavy in the water. Right. The silicone isn't like, it's not going to sink. It's going to help you kind of, it's going to be kind of buoyant. Um, I do a lot of cardio that helps with like breath hold. And then you need to do a lot of like core and leg exercise to be able to move that up and down. Have you timed yourself to see how long you can hold your breath underwater? Um, dynamic is about, like that's like swimming around doing tricks and stuff like that, about a minute and a half. Mm. But if I just go under and I'm just sitting there, I can go for about two and a half minutes. Oh. Mm. Meanwhile, I get winded getting up and getting down and stuff, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I understand. So, we usually ask, because we are bros for shows, yes. and we're collectors and big nerds, 
What? I will, I'm gonna go with what is your uh, favorite mermaid movie or or TV show? Either one. Um, I I love H2O, Just Add Water. Okay. That that's what I grew up on. Most people expect you to say The Little Mermaid, which mm -hmm. I also love The Little Mermaid, but H2O, Just Add Water. It's not H2O makes no mermaids. That's completely different. <laughs> different cast, different everything. Same like world area mm -hmm. thing, but I like the original cast best. Okay. And um, so that's my favorite. I'll go through that. Like if I'm just, if I'm sick and just like in bed, I'm like, I'm going to watch H2O. <laughs> I swap between that and Vampire Diaries as like, those are my comfort we, shows. Yeah. We all have our comfort shows. Yeah. Right? Those are definitely so, mine. But mm -hmm. um, movie wise, I think Aquamarine <coughs> would be my favorite. Uh -huh. I've seen that. It's cute. I love it. Yeah. Do you have a favorite toy? Like growing up? Yeah. Growing up. Like well, a go-to toy? Yeah. Um, What's the first toy you remember playing with? Yeah, there you go. Uh, well, I never really played with dolls. Like okay. I didn't, I never had like Barbies and stuff like that. I was more into like either stuffed animals. I like to collect the um, like the bigger horses. Yeah. Oh yeah. I love those. Mm -hmm. um, I collected those for a while, but like as far as like toys to actually play with. You know the one where, like you put it around your ankle and it's got a ball on the end and you just yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. yeah. Skip it. Yes. 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 It had the little counter on it. Yeah. Hey now kids, come gather around, see what just skipped in the town. So skip it, skip it, do run, do jump, do hop, hop. Skip it, skip it, skipping and a screaming and a bop, to bop. But the very best thing of all, there's a counter on this ball. So try to beat your very best score, see if you can jump a whole lot more. Skip it, skip it, come on everybody, skip it. Roaring good fun from Tiger Toy. So you were you were more of the the I ain't gonna say outdoorsy, but more of the the physical toy Act, stuff. Yeah, the toy. Toy stuff. Yeah. yeah, I've never been one to like just sit down and like I kind of like pre play pretend. Mm -hmm. I've never really done that. If I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do something either active or play outside. Okay. So uh, we can't relate to that. <laughs> I, 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 well, I could because we got kicked out of the house and got told to come back whenever the, the street lights came mm -hmm. on. That was the extent. I'm right? learning to play video games. I'm learning. Learning. Okay. okay. What game are you playing currently? Yeah. Uh, I'm playing Kirby. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm nice. like starting from the beginning. I, I don't know how. <laughs> yep. Um, yeah. I like to watch my husband play like games that actually have like a big story to them. Final Fantasy? Like Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy. Yeah. Um, we just finished, what was it, Resident Evil 4? Yeah. I really liked that one. Okay. Like I like horror games to watch because I will just button smash and be like, I don't know where I'm at. I don't know what to do. I don't want to do my hands. Yeah. Or it's not. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, growing up, was there any cartoons that you loved growing up? I, mean, I know that you said that you were always outdoors, but you know, Sunday, Saturday morning. Yeah. I don't know off the top of my head, like, I just cartoons. Or a TV show. Uh, like, H2O. Uh, H2O, right? Um, Vampire Diaries. My mom introduced me to that. That was her show. She loved Vampire Diaries. So she introduced me to that really young. Okay. And that was, that was... I can't, I can't say nothing, because Ty's favorite movie as a two-year-old was Bad Boys 2. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, as far as, you're, like, favorite you're a great movie, dad. <laughs> yeah. like, just any movie, not necessarily, like, Child's Book. Probably-ish. Uh, would be How to Train Your Dragon. Love uh, that. That's a good one. That is a good, that's a, it's a good it. series. It's, it's a, a good movie, movie series. Good TV series. I like the TV series. I don't like, um, I never watched the one after the third movie where I think they made it where the dragons could talk. I never watched that one. It's weird. Yeah, I heard yeah, stuff about it. I don't, yeah. I never watched it to like confirm, I guess. And the funny thing is about the, that TV series is even as an adult, like, you get hooked into yeah, it. Yeah, I love it. Because they keep the storyline going, and not many shows do that. <laughs> yeah. And it just kept it it's going. Very, and, and, like, you're, and you're wondering, if is, is he going to fall in love with her? Is he finally going to tell her? Yeah. And you're like, and I'm sitting there, romantic crap. But that's how, that's how the, uh, that's how, how you're trying, uh, how to train your dragon was yeah. in the TV series. Mm -hmm. And, uh. It's a really good series. I love it. Very good. I better put a real movie. I'm nervous about the real movie. Oh, 100 percent. I'm like, too, that is my favorite. Please don't ruin it. Yeah. If you do it justice, I'll be really happy. I feel like, the same way about the Fallout don't series. Ruin it for me. Yeah, yeah. What? Trolls do exist. They steal your socks, <laughs> but only the red ones. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Well, we wish you luck yeah. at, your, you. uh, at the Merlimpets, and, you know, we, we hope that... Yeah, we're that Team you, Storm all the way. Yeah, Thank Team you. Storm all the way, it. and yeah. uh, how... Uh, how many countries are competing in this? I, I could have told you if you didn't ask me. Um, Pretend I didn't ask you. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not like the regular Olympics where only, like each country only gets one team. Mm -hmm. So there's there's a few different teams from Switzerland. There's us. <clears throat> there is some, some teams from Spain. I think there's a German team. Like there's, there's teams from everywhere, and I'm so excited to meet international oh, yeah. mermaids. Because, like, cool. we've got our tail makers here in America, and I'm sure they have different tail makers over there mm -hmm. that, like, we haven't heard of. Because, like, it'll be, like, .co or .uk or whatever. And so, like, those aren't the websites we normally, like, see when we Google. Like, the big ones here are Finfolk, Mertailer, Finfun, which is, like, great beginner tails, and then, like, silicone makers. But those are the main, like, the main ones here. Mm -hmm. And I'm really excited to see all the different tails that are going to be there. Very cool. So what do you get if you win? Um, I I know there's like medals and things like that. Is it like the regular Olympics? You know, I you think, get the bronze, the yeah, gold, the silver, things the, like that? Only the top three in each category. You get a trident. How I cool. have a trident. Oh, Ooh, I mean, you could like win one. That would be cool. That like would be really cool. But I have, awesome. um, I have a trident I like to use for photo shoots. But oh, you have to fill cool. the entire thing with water. <laughs> it is <clears> insane <throat> in the tail. Pun intended. <laughs> Cool. It would be neat if they, uh, not cut you off, but if, if they did some kind of sponsorship for, like, they do these different, uh, like Disney has their mm -hmm. mermaids, mm -hmm. you know, if you could get a yeah. sponsorship oh, through them amazing. to yeah. do a stint over well, there for a while well, or they, something. Well, and who knows uh, how well that they do, you may get, the, may get their attention. Yeah, you never eventually. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh, there's a lot of mermaids that perform full time, which yeah. is something I would love to eventually. I've, I've seen them at an aquarium before. Yes. Yeah. Um, the ones that have been on the Mississippi, at the Mississippi Aquarium, that's the Wands and Wishes mermaids. They okay. travel kind of all over, and like my dream job would be to swim in a pod that goes like that just travels to a bunch of different aquariums. That would be the coolest thing ever. That would be pretty Except cool. aquarium water is really cold. Yeah. It's like, oh, but they're tropical fish. No, that water's still cold. <laughs> I'm not great in cold water. I'm learning, but it's not the same. That's very. This is eye opening to me because I, di I didn't know. Yeah. I didn't Most know there was a Murray yeah. Olympics yeah. until. Yeah. Most people don't. No. Yeah, we have our little circles, you know, every once in a while when new things are introduced, we're just like, what? what? Well, this is actually the first, well, last year was the first year I heard of the Murray Olympics, period. And like I said, it's been going on. You've been doing since, this for. Um, I started mermaiding in 2018. Okay. So that's. Six years. Six years. Yeah. Yeah. That, wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> Time flies when you're having fun. It does. Mm -hmm. But uh, like you were, like you were saying, sponsor-wise, like I've been doing different fundraising since this is our first year competing. Yeah. We don't have to have a fund. Right. And so each mm -hmm. athlete's com like completely responsible for their own travel to get over there, like train tickets because the like the little city mm -hmm. that we're competing in is not near the airport. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like we're flying into Zurich International Airport, which is like up here, and I think, I don't want to butcher the name, but I think it's Feisch is where we're competing, and it's like way down here close to Italy. And I'm like, okay, that's going to be fun. Like a four or five hour Have you ever been out of the country before? Um, yes. I've been to Turks and Caicos. I've been to a few different areas of Mexico. I've been to Honduras and Belize. The uh, Bahamas is where we saw the mermaid at the Atlantis Hotel yeah. uh -huh. and their aquarium, which actually houses all the dolphins from marine life on the coast whenever Katrina had come oh. through. That's where the, they, they moved them to uh, the Gulfarium in mm -hmm. Fort Walton Beach, and then from there took them to the Bahamas. So it was neat to yeah. see the the dolphins that, as a kid, that I watched at yeah. Marine Life. But yeah, that's they had a... Uh, they had a mermaid that was performing. I so. usually, like, I would never perform at the Mississippi Aquarium, sorry, yeah. or any aquarium that houses captive dolphins, mm. because I'm hugely against that, because they catch them in, like, dolphin hunts. Yeah. And they will, like, they'll tear up, they'll tear families apart, they'll tear up pods apart, and if they, they catch a dolphin, they're like, oh, this isn't the one I wanted, 
those kill it. Yeah. So I'm hugely against. Oh any, wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's called like um, there's a Taiji hunt, and um, there's mermaids always root, uh, root for blue cove days where they don't catch or kill any dolphins, but there's a lot more red cove days. So it's Man. it's a huge. It's terrible. I've only swam with them once whenever we were fishing. My uh, dad's side of the family had shrimpers mm -hmm. and uh, before That's Katrina. Fun. And we would go out, and he'd say, hey, you want to go swim with the dolphins? And I'm, I'm like seven, eight, nine years old. Yeah. He's like, here, I'll swim in the water, and I win. Yeah, see, that's the way to do it. That's There's the way to do it. and sharks. <laughs> that's, uh, I did that when I was little. We would always, we would take our jet skis and go down to Destin. Mm -hmm. We would just go super far out. Like, instead of going, like, we would pass up Crab Island, and we would just go until you saw dolphins. Yeah. And we just. They'll follow you around. Yeah, they yeah. will. And they're super, like, they're super social animals. Mm -hmm. You don't have to coop them up in an in aquarium to see them. All you have to do is go out on a boat. Like, you're going to see them. The, the cool thing is, uh, like in Perdido Key, Florida, which is in the Panhandle, right on the beach. Yeah. I'm talking about 100 yeah. feet off the beach or less. Yeah. There's dolphins just out there in the morning. You can sit out there, drink coffee, yeah. you know, in the hotel or whatever, and look and be like, oh, wow, there's a little pod of dolphins yeah. going mm -hmm. on by like this. Yeah. So, I mean, they're not necessarily way far out. It's Yeah, you don't have to go far to see them. Yeah, it, and it's awesome. Well, again, well, again, we we wish you luck, and hopefully, we'll get to uh, have another interview with you whenever you get back and see yeah. how everything went. Yeah. And we got the and maybe get yeah. some That's video. Right. Bring, my metal with me? bring yeah. the trident. Bring the trident too. Eric wants yeah, to see the trident. See. <laughs> <laughs> see the trident. Yeah. Oh, is it? Mm. Like the the gold one? It's silver. Silver. Okay. Uh, yeah. Queen, Queen, Queen Mara. No, Mara. Was it Mara? Yeah. No, Mara was the the one that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know DC. That well. I'm, I'm a Marvel girlie. Y'all uh, check out her Instagram. Uh, we'll, we'll post it here on the video, and uh, uh, I'm sure you'll be able to keep up with her journey. Oh yeah, journey I post on all over Facebook and Instagram. I'm working on posting on TikTok a lot again, but I kind of fell off of that. I will sometimes. Well, thank you for having me. Well, thank you for having me. Well, yeah, no, you're welcome. Uh, Team Storm. Team Storm all the way. Thank y'all.